You're on the Bible Forum. I'm Warren Sprouse. It's Sunday night. It is the last Sunday night in June 2020. Do you know what is right and wrong? I want to talk to you about what's right and wrong in the 21st century. A Gallup poll conducted May 1st through the 13th and released just last Tuesday shows that 47% of Americans say abortion is morally wrong. 44% say it's morally acceptable. Although neither percentage is a record, it continues a two-decade trend. The percentage of those who say it's morally wrong has always been higher than those that say it's morally acceptable. The question was first asked in 2001. Last year, for example, 50% said abortion was morally wrong, while 52 disagreed with that. In 2001, 45% said it was morally wrong. Only 42% said it was morally permissible. And then there's the issue of divorce. A record high of 77% of Americans say divorce is morally permissible with a record low of 18% saying it's morally wrong. The rest say it depends on the situation. When the poll was first conducted in 2001, 59% said that divorce was okay. Only 28% said it was wrong. 12% said it depends. A record high of 72% also say sex between unmarried and an unmarried man and woman is morally permissible. 27% disagree. In 2001, it was only 53% that said it was morally acceptable and 42% thinking it was morally wrong. When it comes to polygamy, a record 20% say it's morally acceptable, 78% thinking it's wrong. In 2003, only 7% thought it was permissible. Acceptance of gay and lesbian relations, 66%. This is only one percentage point from a record high of 67% just two years ago. At the same time, a record low, 54% of Americans, say the death penalty is acceptable, and a record high, 40%, saying it's wrong. Abortion remains the most ideologically polarizing issue asked about, with 70% of liberals, 18% of conservatives classifying it as morally acceptable. Gallup's Megan Brennan wrote in an online analysis, quote, gay or lesbian relations and teenage sex are the next most divisive issues with acceptability gaps of 41 and 40 percent, respectively. Do you see it? The enemy of your soul is winning the battle. And as he does, things will get worse, morally, and therefore socially. As this happens, more and more righteous behaviors will be sacrificed. Doom and gloom? Hopeless? Not at all. Because this is what the Bible says is going to happen. It's just demonstrating to us that the Bible is, once again, right. It observed that wickedness, Genesis 6, 5. That lawlessness, Matthew 24, 12, would increase. And that this wickedness, this lawlessness, was a product of Satan. 2 Thessalonians 2, 9, 10, and 11. However, God promised to build his church upon 
a rock. And this rock is Jesus. Matthew 16, 18. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Matthew 24, 14. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached throughout the whole world as a testimony to nations, and then the end will come. 2 Thessalonians 2.8, when the man of sin is revealed, implying he will already be here before that happens, God will take care of him. 2 Thessalonians 2.8. All of this taken together shows us that from the very beginning, going back to Adam and Eve, but specifically when Jesus was here giving the analysis that the system has been steadily running down, getting worse and worse and worse, more sinful, more corrupt. And Jesus told us, promised us, that it was going to continue. Why are you surprised? Well, we are surprised at how fast these things come upon us, how much people are willing to accept. We have had many of the kinds of uh, demonstrations and activities we see now uh, that are <clears throat> being acted out around the coronavirus and are now around uh, the senseless murder or killing of these people in police custody and all the rest of it. We're seeing all of this chaos allowing for people to rise up who've been here all the while and gain the ascendancy as far as the media is concerned, as far as the message. And what they're telling us, what they're advocating, is chaos. And the Bible says that's the way it has to be. That's the way it will go. Not that God is causing that, but he's allowing that. It is the logical expression of sin. It has been hidden in America for generations. Not that it wasn't here, not that we didn't see it, but it hasn't been as overt, largely because of the nuclear family structure. That's gone. And with it have gone a whole list of other things. Look for it to settle down and get some kind of normalcy but look for it to raise its ugly head again and again and again, each time a little worse than the time before, until Jesus comes. And I say that because Jesus comes to put an end to the chaos. The Bible says that if Jesus does not come, no flesh would survive. That's how bad it's going to get during the Great Tribulation. And we are inches away from that. 